Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Sophie Society. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. For today, I am giving you guys my version of a soft glam makeup tutorial. It's kind of neutral, not really natural, but giving something that you need. And yeah, we did a lot of neutral tones, nude colors for the lip and the eyes as well. So if you guys want to see how I accomplish this look, then continue to watch. <laughs> Alright, so I already primed my face with the Patrick Star One Size Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer that I got a sample from Sephora. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows, but I'm going to speed through this part. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Dark Neutral and I'm gonna put just a little bit under here. Baby. We took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a post time. And I'm gonna blend that out with my ring Baby. finger. Where did these niggas be at when they said they pulling out that stuff? Tired of beefing you balls, you can't even pay me in to react. No waking up in the crib, sometimes I don't even know what I'm at. Before foundation, I'm mixing these two, the NARS Semi Matte All Day Luminous Foundation in St. Bernard's. This is in dark three and then the Fenty Eavesdrop skin tint in 20. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of um, some cream contour. This is from the Sleek Makeup um, Contour Kit in Extra Dark. So it has shades like this. This shade here, just a little bit too, not a lot. Y'all see that? Boom, boom. Now I'm going to conceal. I'm going to do the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Caramel and then the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer in Maple. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. Darling, you sent me. Darling, you sent me. I know you. 
now I'm gonna blend out that cream contour right here. One, two, three, fuck it. And as you can see, I'm not breaking it all the way in. I'm keeping it right on the sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in honey. And I'm actually, I'm doing more pressing in of the powder than sweeping, kind of doing both. Um, and I don't bake under my eyes. I know like that's what a lot of people do, but it doesn't work. Like I don't like the way it makes uh, my under eye look after I wipe it away. Okay guys, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Morphe 350 Matte Palette, which is really old. Uh, looks like this. It's old, but it's a classic. So I'm going to go in with Chai, it's a brown shade right here. <laughs> it's brown, but it has like red undertones. So I'm going to go in with that with the fluffy brush. gonna go in with like a bone color with this flat brush um right on my lid basically like a bootleg version of a cut crease because cut creases to me take way too long like what what are we doing here there's too many steps and I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush blend out those edges super easy and quick I don't do much with eyeshadow I really don't now I'm gonna go in with my Sephora micro smooth powder in deep and this is a real techniques blush brush but I use it for powder and I'm just putting that on like the other parts of my face that I didn't contour or highlight. Now for bronzer, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in 4 Deep. And this is just like a random angled brush here. I'm just going to take a little, not too much. Slip be ODing with this and just kind of tap that along the side, basically, right on top of that cream contour that I just did, and then super lightly around here, and then, of course, you can take some down. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender again and kind of do this, kind of blend that together because I feel like it's always like a line of demarcation with my highlight and my contour and it kills me. Now I'm going to take some Milani blush in Coral Cove. Now I'm going to take that same eyeshadow I put up here and put a little up under my um, lash line under here. Now I'm going to do some a wing eyeliner 
Um, and this is a L'Oreal Matte Sigma eyeliner. So I'm gonna do that off camera and my eyelashes and then I'll be a bit busy. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the eyeliner like I told y'all and I put on some of these eyelashes. These are by Kiss called Twilight. And I also put some setting spray on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush setting spray, which is really nice. Now for the finishing touch, we're gonna do the lips. We're gonna do like a nude lip. So first I'm gonna do lip liner, which is Milani lip liner in Saucy Toffee. Can't really see that. This lip liner in Saucy Toffee it honestly blends right in with my skin tone. So I'm gonna go over that with the Milani lip liner in Rich Cocoa. Now I'm gonna go in with the Milani Ludacris Lip Crayon in So Obsessed. This is more like a brown shade as well. Now this MAC lipstick in Mule It Over. This is like a brownish pink color. Now this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip uh, gloss in amber. It's a lot of lip colors going on, I'll tell you that much. And yeah guys, that is this soft glam makeup look that I did. Um, if I was like going out, this would be like my go-to look. It's like neutral, but not doing too much, but not really natural, just giving you the right pizzazz that you need in your life. So this is my soft glam tutorial. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, of course, comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all in my next video.